Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do. It is going to be a new Ulta haul and I'm also going to do it try on style, which is why I am makeup free at the moment. So I thought I would first run through everything that I picked up from Ulta and then we will go ahead and start trying everything out. So just jumping right into it, I've been waiting to place an Ulta order. There was quite a few things that I was interested in picking up. There was a few even like older products, but then there were some newer products and I can't remember why I placed this order. Oh, I had 20% off because <laughs> if you guys know me I have to have like some sort of incentive to be making purchases especially when it comes to makeup because I have so much of it but uh, I got 20% off my order at Ulta so I went ahead and took it so what I got uh, I ended up getting two different foundations I was interested in both a lot of people were saying that you wanted to see my thoughts on both and they're both the majority of this haul is drugstore so I got the Milani Screen Queen Natural Finish Foundation. Uh, I got it in shade 220 and Natural Beige. So it says a luminous and natural skin finish, a buildable light to medium coverage, and it's supposed to be a long wearing. So this is a new one from Milani and I'm super curious about it. And then I also got this one from CoverGirl. This is the Clean Fresh Skin Milk Nourishing Foundation. So I got this with uh, in the shade light medium. It says blurs imperfections, even out skin tone, sheer buildable coverage, and instant all day hydration. This is a new line from CoverGirl. I am going to use the Milani today because actually, after I placed this order, CoverGirl did send me uh, a bunch of products from this line, including some of these foundations. Um, they sent me the cream blushes, liquid highlighters, and also the lip tints. I just did a haul recently on my Instagram stories, and a lot of you said you wanted a video on this line. So let me know if you guys want that over here, and I can definitely do it. So I wanted both, I ended up getting this sent to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Milani Screen Queen for today. Okay, so also in here, one thing that I've been really wanting for a while, I had saved as in like my favorites on Ulta. These are from e.l.f. So these are the primer infused bronzer and also blush. I've heard a lot of people really rave about these. Um, I'm pretty sure Andrea has. I think I've seen Kelly Gooch talking about them. And a lot of people are also saying that they seem really comparable to the Buxom, or at least the blush, is comparable to the Buxom um, primer infused blushes. And I love Seychelles. It's one of my favorite shades. So I was really curious about that. So I picked up the shades. These are $6 each. Um, what shade did I get? Always Cheeky and then Forever Sun Kissed in the bronzer. It does. Those are right on the front. I was looking on the back like, help me. Uh, so, curious to try these out. Um, also from e.l.f., I really wanted to grab the Hydrating Camo Concealer. I really enjoy just the regular camo concealer from e.l.f. It's one of my favorites, but I do like hydrating concealers. So I'm really curious to see how this is going to compare to the original. Am I going to like it more? I don't know. I got the shade medium sand, which is what I have in the original one also. So interested to try that. And then I did pick up an eyeshadow palette. I mentioned in Wednesday's Will I Buy It when I was talking over all the new makeup releases that I did make a, um, that I did purchase a new ColourPop palette. This one is in Blush Crush. This um, collection came out from ColourPop and both the palettes that came out, there was more of a nude one and then the blush crush and I thought that they were both beautiful and I was going to try to talk myself out of them but then the palettes became available at Ulta and I wanted to place an order and I had 20% off and I thought... I'm gonna go for it so really beautiful I love the different tones in here I love the nine pan palettes from Colourpop so I went ahead and went for it and then the final item that I picked up from Ulta was a lip liner this is from KKW Beauty so this is my first product that I'm trying from this brand I got the shade nude 2 and yeah I mentioned KKW Beauty in my brands that I want to try in 2020 and a lot of you recommended the lip liner. So I am super curious to try this out. So kind of like a darker nude lip liner, a little bit more on the browner side. So very excited to try out all of these products. That is my little auto haul of new products that I've picked up. And why don't we go ahead and start trying everything on. I've been wearing my blue light glasses. These are from um, Casey Holmes and Diff Eyewear. I've been wearing them because I've been having quite a headache lately. So I feel like the blue light glasses really help me out and they can double as holding my hair back, which is great. So first up, I'm going to, I'm going to start with the face. I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer, the Long Wear Foundation Grip. I tried this in last week's Get Ready With Me that went up and I'm really, really liking it. 
I also went to Vegas last week and this is the primer that I took and I wore all the days I was there and I am really really liking it. I think it helps foundation stay on but it almost feels I don't know I, I guess I was thinking it was gonna feel like the milk hydro grip and be kind of just like more sticky on the face it honestly almost feels a little bit more on the hydrating side I think it's a little bit smoothing like I said I'm going to use the screen queen foundation from Milani so this one at Ulta Beauty it is $13.99 it says break up with blue light you're on your phone 24 7 Milani's not mad at you but your skin might be because the blue light coming from your devices could be doing serious damage kind of forgot about that and I have my blue light glasses on I did, I did not plan that, but that's pretty good. So it's supposed to be a weightless formula to instantly blur imperfections, even out skin tones, infused with digital blue light filter technology to help protect skin from digital pollution. It also says available in 45 skin perfecting shades and is cruel, cruelty free and vegan. Uh, I got the shade 220 natural beige, which I feel like looks a little bit light. So we'll have to see. It was kind of hard to pick a shade because like on the Ulta Beauty website, it doesn't say like how this one just says cool porcelain. That's all it says. It doesn't say like undertones. And so I was searching around for a while to try to find something that would help me a little bit more or swatches. And then I just, just made my best guess from there. So We'll go ahead and see. So it does have a pump on it. It is a glass bottle. I'm just going to shake it a little bit in case it needs to be shook up. And then I have this sponge here. This is actually a Morphe sponge. I got it in a goodie bag. It's like the sculpting sponge. I'm just going to use this side for right now. Actually, I want to pump a little bit on my hand just to get an idea of the consistency of it. I forget that you have to like pump forever when you're using a new foundation. Go, go. So, it doesn't appear to be too liquidy off the bat, like it's not running down my hand or anything. Eh, might be a pretty decent match. I have it blended out on this side of my face. I don't have it blended out over here yet. I do think, like, kind of just first thoughts, I, I do think that I did a good job kind of covering I still have a lot of redness over here I don't have as many like active breakouts uh, going on at the moment but I have some I was gonna say like spots I, you know just like some scarring from where I've had some breakouts and just some redness still going on um, so I feel like it did a good job covering that it seems to blend out pretty easily this is the first time that I'm actually trying this morphe sponge I don't know if I'm like obsessed with it off the bat it's not maybe as like soft as i would prefer it and i like the morphe sponges like just the regular makeup sponge i haven't tried this sculpting one though uh, i feel like it does look a little bit more matte and i thought it said it had more of a luminous finish yeah luminous natural skin finish buildable light to medium coverage i mean i would say that that's like light to medium right now I'm gonna add a little bit more especially to like this area and this area and see but I don't see a real luminous finish yet and I don't know if I would say that I think that it looks natural either it just to me it looks I don't know to me it looks a little bit more matte that might be too much foundation but that's okay we'll just we're gonna go ahead and test the buildable claim on this one I definitely think that built up really nicely because uh, especially the like a lot of the redness and spots that I have on my chin seem to be a lot more covered up so that's good so it definitely is buildable I still wouldn't say this is really like full coverage I think it looks just more medium now instead of the light to medium but I also I don't know I still think that it looks a little bit more matte on me I don't I don't see luminous at all just maybe more of like a natural matte finish and I'm not always like I don't get obsessed with matte foundations I got foundation on my lips I don't get obsessed with matte foundations usually I like more natural or if it leans more luminous which is why I was really curious about this one but I don't know I, I like the way it feels I, I would agree that it's very lightweight it doesn't feel too heavy right now like it doesn't look too heavy which I appreciate it doesn't to me it doesn't look like I'm wearing a lot of foundation even though I did too you know pretty decent 
passes. I, I like it, like I like the way my skin looks right now, but I'm not like, I'm not like freaking out, you know? I move over to my concealer from e.l.f. Cosmetics, the Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is $6. Again, I got the shade Medium Sand, which says Medium Light with Neutral Undertones. That's the shade that I had in my other one, and I feel like it works pretty good, so... Uh, this says camouflage those pesky spots and under eye circles with elf cosmetics hydrating camel concealer full coverage hydrating long wearing concealer featuring a large doe foot applicator to conceal correct contour and highlight for flawless skin it's supposed to be lightweight with a satin finish that won't settle into fine line or creases ideal for all skin types but great for dry skin and this is also cruelty free and i like that it says proud to be 100 percent vegan and cruelty free worldwide because kindness is chic <laughs> I love that. And this concealer, the regular one, is one of my favorites. I feel like, let me go grab it because I feel like the shades look different. This is definitely a way different shade. So this is the regular one and this is the hydrating and they're both medium sand. I mean, I just, I, I mean, I don't know. I just assumed that they would be the same, but these are way different. So I don't know if this is going to be great on me. I might have to exchange it for a different shade because... That's um, that's a little weird, but it has the large doe foot just like the other one. I'm just gonna do like a swatch on my, yeah, let me do like a comparison swatches. I mean, obviously you can see from the, just holding them up. That's a little bit frustrating because I'm pretty sure that that's exactly how this one is described too. So again, hydrating on this side regular down here so yeah that's that's way different so um okay just give it a shot first impressions <laughs> never know what's gonna happen so i'm just gonna add a little bit <laughs> i mean hopefully i can just at least get an idea um because it has such a large doe foot and you get a lot of product on there i don't typically find that i need to like use a lot and it blends out really nicely but especially because I feel like this color is so off <laughs> we'll just go ahead and try it out here it doesn't help that I feel like the Milani foundation was like maybe like a shade light like I probably could have gone one up and maybe it would have been okay so then to have a concealer that's too dark it's like ooh, is this gonna make a really interesting contrast and I am filming another video after this but <laughs> that's okay nobody panic kind of first thoughts is I do feel like it was easy to blend out which I do think the original one is also but I feel like I can definitely see that like satin finish on my under eyes can you see it I can see it uh so I like it like I, I like the way that it looks I just I don't like the color I can tell that the color is is the shade is not right for me so uh, I'll definitely have to <laughs> try to exchange for something better almost like too yellow I think it's kind of freaking me out too because it's making me look so so yellow right here um, which I don't love so I was gonna use the concealer to spot conceal but i don't really want to uh i think i'm gonna go ahead and use the original one and just kind of spot conceal just a little bit right there on these two areas that want to stick around because i just don't want to bring more yellow onto my skin i don't know have you guys tried the new the new hydrating one have you noticed that the shades are different if you've tried both of them other than the shade not being correct again I like the way that it looks otherwise. I still think the coverage was nice too. Maybe this one is a little bit, the original is a little bit more full coverage, which that's what I was wondering. Would you lose some of the coverage if you had more of a hydrating formula? Maybe just like a little bit, but again, I like kind of more of that satin look on the under eyes. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead. I don't have a new powder, so I'm going to use my one from CoverGirl. This is in my... Project Pan for 2020. I'm just going to set my under eyes. I'm not going to set my face. I just want to see how the foundation holds up throughout the day um, with no setting powder or setting spray. Yes, yes, okay. 
and I will also leave a pinned comment. I'm filming this on Wednesday and this will go up Friday. So I will leave a pinned comment with some further thoughts because I will wear this makeup all night. And then I'll go ahead and put a pinned comment in and give some further thoughts. I will come back after I've tested everything really thoroughly and give a full review too. But you can check that comment if you want to see how the makeup wore throughout the day and night. I did my brows off camera and it's kind of looking at my skin a little bit more. I feel like it's starting to look more of a natural finish, that foundation. Again, I didn't put powder anywhere else except for my under eyes. Uh, I haven't sprayed my face or anything like that and I feel like I'm liking the foundation more. You know, sometimes it seems like foundations have to kind of like, I want to say like settle in, but I know that can sound bad, like it's going to settle into your lines, but you know, it just kind of like gets friendly with your face. I feel like I'm liking it right now. Okay. Good, good. So I'm going to use the bronzer and blush now from e.l.f. Cosmetics. Again, the primer infused bronzer in Forever Sunkissed and the primer infused blush in Always Cheeky. Again, it was kind of was a little bit hard picking out the shades for these, but again, I believe both of these are $6. So we'll just keep our fingers crossed and see what we think. And if they are, like, especially if the blush is a good dupe for um, the Buxom one, I think that'll be awesome because the Buxom blush is in the 20s. Oh my gosh, why is this so hard to get out? Okay then. Okay, so Forever Sunkissed. I'm just going to go ahead and do a swatch. Ooh, it feels very soft, very creamy. That's good. Okay, so there is Forever Sunkissed. That looks nice. Okay, so I'm going to use my brushes from the Sephora and Makeup Mario Complexion Set. I'm really liking these brushes, but I believe they are sold out. So that's a bummer, but I, I bought them and I still like them a lot, so... I'm just going to go ahead and see what we think. I like to start small. Like, I just kind of, like, casually dipped it, especially because this brush, which, what brush is this? This is technically the foundation brush. I've been using it for, like, bronzer or contour. I don't, you know, just makeup brushes. But especially because it's a little bit more dense. It's like, start small and work your way up. Especially with, especially bronzer and blush. I mean, baby steps, Okay. But I actually really like that off the bat. It was really easy to blend. I can definitely use more of a firm hand. When I first go in to apply it. Okay, Samantha. Let's calm it down on the firm hand. I feel like it blends easily. So I went, um, I went too hard. Too hard on that pass. I got too comfortable. But we'll just go ahead and work on blending that out. I feel like there's a real cause to panic yet, but I'm just like lightly tapping my sponge over the bronzer because that's what I do. And then I'm going to try to find a happy medium between how I started and how I ended for the other side. But like I was saying, I feel like I do really like it. It seems easy to blend out even when you decide to go heavy handed on your third pass. Great decision making skills there. And it does just kind of have this like subtle glow to it. Like it's not too much. It's not too shimmery. It's not too matte. It's, it's really pretty. Add a little bit to my forehead also. So far so good on the bronzer. I think this was the lightest shade in the bronzer. I think there was three and I believe this one was the lightest. So it started off a little bit light, but obviously you can build it up and it'll be fine. I really like this. I like this. I'm hoping that I like the blush as much too. Because again, I felt like it was a little bit hard to pick my shades. Because it was like a light one. And then there was definitely like a deeper one. But I feel like the two in between, I was like, ah, e ah, I don't really know. So I think this was the one that was considered their lightest. And it's a little bit more peachy. Which I'm not always like obsessed with peach blushes like i i like them but they don't tend to become my favorite but i just felt like the other shades wouldn't really work out so i don't know we'll see i'm gonna grab the i think this one is the blush brush nope this is the contour brush it's fine i like my blush brushes to have a little bit of an angle to them so i'm just gonna pick up a little bit casually tap it on here hmm Okay, and I think that looks really pretty. Again, might have even gone a little bit overboard on the blush, but I try not to freak out all the time when I go overboard on blush because 
it does tend to be the thing that fades the quickest. I know that the Buxom Primer Infused Blush really sticks around really well, so I'm curious to see if this one will too. I like the shade. I don't know if right off the bat I'm like, oh man, I usually like something that's a little bit more nude or nude pink versus a peach, but I don't know, I just kind of felt like this would be the best option for me. I like it. Again, kind of that I feel like the bronzer almost had more of that sheen that I'm thinking that the blush does. But so far, so good on both the bronzer and blush from e.l.f. That has me pretty excited. Move over to the eyes using the Blush Crush Palette from ColourPop. So this is a nine pan palette and it is $14. Uh, so this one says you'll have a major crush on this blushing nudes palette, romantic mauves and matte metallic and super shock finishes to create the softest looks. Okay, so... Uh, I went ahead and did some swatches on my hand here so I could get an idea of the different shades. And like these three, I think I want to use because I feel like they are incredibly beautiful. But uh, we have Lovesick, which is a matte pale baby pink. Papa Bottle is a super shock light pink with pink and champagne gold pinpoints. The one is a matte light peachy pink. Enamored is a metallic light salmon. Made You Blush is a matte mid-tone blush with gold flecks. Blossom Up is a metallic pink with a gold flip. And then in the last row, we have How Rogue, which is matte berry mauve with gold flecks. Uh, or matte rouge and cheek to cheek is a matte mid-tone rose and blush wine is a matte deep wine with gold flecks Just watching it you can tell that this second one right here is a super shock i really love the sweet talk palette and that one has a super shock in there that i really really like i was thinking about that one but again i just feel like these over here those are just calling to me right now so first up i'm going to use cheek to cheek and I'm going to use a big blending brush from Moda. This is a BMX 430 crease brush. So I'm just going to tap a little bit on here. And then tap this on the outer part of my eye. I love shades like this. And I really, I wasn't sure when I was talking about this palette in a Will I Buy It video. I was like, I might be able to talk myself out of it. You know, I have so many palettes and... I have a lot of ColourPop palettes, but I kept thinking about it, and I kept thinking about it, and, you know, there's plenty of, obviously, there's so many new releases that come out. I do my new makeup releases video every single Wednesday, and there can be a lot of times when makeup comes out, and I always try to make myself wait. Um, you know, I try not to purchase anything, like, too fast in the spur of the moment and then regret it. Again, I like to have different coupons or discounts or, you know, extra cash back, things like that. But that can also kind of help because there's a lot of times where I think I like a product and I want it. And then, you know, three days go by and I'm like, eh, probably don't need it. But when I have releases that keep calling to me and I can keep hearing a whisper in my name, I'm like, ah, oh, maybe, you know, I should think about it. And then when I got the 20% off at Ulta, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go for it. So I'm just taking my time to build up that pink in the crease and kind of all over the lid. I'm going to come in with that deeper shade to darken it up a little bit. I'm going to take the E25 and pick up How Rouge. And so this one has a little bit of like these flecks in it, but sometimes I find with them that they don't stick around a ton. I'm going to tap this one on the outer part of my eye and see what we get. I really, really loved that first shade. Oh, I think even that shade and made you blush could look really pretty together too. Ooh, like this color scheme in here just really, really spoke to the soft glam side of me, you know? This is adding in a little bit of purple. Definitely see some of the like glitter flecks in here, but they really don't, like it really ends up being a matte shadow. And that's what I found through ColourPop and beyond. Okay, I'm feeling this. Feeling this right now. I'm just gonna take that first brush. Honestly, they blend so well, so that's really about all I need. And then I'm gonna take a brush from the Makeup by Mario set. This is a concealer brush, but I like to use it for flat shaders. And okay, now I'm trying to decide. I was gonna go with the uh let's go with I'm gonna go with Blossom Up. This one right here. 
that's what I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna use a dry brush first. Sometimes ColourPop, I feel like it is better to use a damp brush, but we'll go ahead and see first what Blossom Up looks like with a dry brush. Oh, that looks pretty. So I'm just gonna tap this on the middle and inner part of my eye. I like the way that it looks with the purple because this one is like um, purple with some metallic gold. Ooh, yeah, I'm really liking this. See, I do think that it could benefit from a wet brush, but I think I actually want to tap a little bit of the Super Shock on top just to see what that looks like too. So I'm just going to keep using the dry brush. And again, I think that it looks nice and I think that it works well. It's just, you know, kind of if you want to elevate it. Usually the Super Shocks are best applied with a finger and even though I don't love that, I'm very weird about putting my fingers in makeup. I don't know why, but I'm going to do it because that's usually how they work best. So I'm just coming into the second shade, which is Pop a Bottle, which is the Super Shock formula. And I want to just go ahead and pat this right on top, but kind of right in the center too, just to give it a little <laughs> pop, <laughs> pop a bottle, I get it. Ooh, and that just, I mean, that just added just like a very, like, slight little something, like lightened it up just a little bit in the center. I don't always love using my finger either because I feel like it can be a guessing game of like where the shadow is going to end up. I started to get a little bit carried away with the Super Shock, but I really, really like it. And I figured I would because, I again, I really like the one in the Sweet Talk, but you still have a little bit of kind of like that gold on the inner and then with the Super Shock. I'm really liking the way that this is looking. For my eyeliner, I just went ahead and used the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I used this last week, but I was really impressed. I felt like it lasted a really long time in my waterline, and I feel like it would go with the coloring that I have going on today. And then for my lower lash line, I really want to use the shade Made You Blush here in the center. So I'm going to take a pencil brush from Sigma, the E30, and run this on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to add in a little bit of Cheek to Cheek, which was the first shade that we used on the eyes. I'm going to add a little bit of Lovesick. That is the first shade there, and it looks more white in the pan, but actually when I swatched it, it looks a little bit more pinky. And it is a matte shade, so I'm just going to add a little bit on the inner corner. I think I'll add a little bit on the brow bone too. I'm really liking the way the eyes turned out. I mean, I know that I'm a big fan of ColourPop palettes and I feel like this one is probably going to be no exception. Looking at it, there's already just so, like there were so many shades I wanted to play with. Even like how I was like, oh, kind of want to use Made You Blush. I was like, why not just use it on the lower lash line? And I really, really like that Super Shock. I think I'm really going to get on with this one. There's a lot of looks I want to do with it. So, so far, so good. For my mascara, I'm going to use the one from Fenty Beauty. I picked up a little sample of the new Full Frontal Mascara. I did try it out last week. I mentioned in my pinned comment that at the end of the night, I had so much mascara on my under eyes. There was a lot of transfer. I want to wear it again, and I'm, I'm going to pay better attention to the clock to see, like, after how long do I really start to get a lot of smudging and smearing on to my face so I can kind of update when I come back to give a review. We are almost finished. I'm going to move over to highlight. I'm really excited about this. So this is from Soul Body, which is one of ColourPop's sister brands. This is one of their face and body highlights in uh, soft pink. I was going to say soul pink in soft pink. So this was coming out with the Valentine's Day collection. And when I saw it online, I thought it was really beautiful. I'm a big fan of pinky highlights. So I want to see what this one looks like. Ooh. Okay. So I did a swatch of it right there. And I, I like ColourPop highlights a lot. Again, this is technically Soul Body, which is a sister brand, sister brand. And they focus on body like they have the body oils and body shimmers and all of that so again this is face and body highlight but I'm going to use it on my face today we're going to give it a shot so I'm going to use another brush from the Makeup by Mario set this is this is considered the highlight brush would you look at that a really nice compact it has a mirror in it so let's go ahead and see what this highlight looks like hmm 
Okay, so first pass was more subtle than I was thinking because I feel like it's swatched. Pretty nice too. So let's just try to build it up a little bit because I do like a little bit more of an intense highlight. It does look to be kind of glittery. I feel like I can definitely notice some glitter in it. I don't know if off the bat if this is going to be a favorite. Again, a little bit more subtle but with the glitter so because this is also a body highlight like it might look really cool on like the shoulders things like that i mean i'm pretty much wearing a sweater every single day i mean i have a shirt on with a sweater over it so i mean i don't have any of those vibes going on for me right now <laughs> but uh maybe that side looks maybe i like that a little bit i just do just a little bit on my nose sometimes when I do more of like a colored highlight I don't go crazy on the nose highlight because I feel like it can look a little bit odd but because I don't see like a super intense pink to it go ahead and add a little bit so okay so that is the highlight from Soul Body. Right now, I think that I would say that I like the ColourPop highlights more. Um, Flexitarian, which is a super shock, is a favorite of mine. And I also really like Horse and Carriage. That one is a pressed highlight. And I think that one is really beautiful. We just have to finish it off with lips. So I'm going to use the KKW Beauty Lip Liner. And I'm going to use it with a gloss. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. This also came in the Pillow Talk collection. This is like the collagen... Bathe. How come Charlotte, girlfriend, you need to put more of your product names on here because, yeah, it's like the collagen bath, collagen bathe, collagen something. My phone is updating. Okay, so by the time we get there, my phone will hopefully be updated and I will look it up and see exactly what it says. So I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips with the Nude 2 Lip Liner from KKW Beauty. definitely a deeper brown than I was expecting. The shade lighter was sold out. Um, I feel like maybe that will be a better look for me. I mean, sometimes I do a darker lip liner, but I don't know. I don't know if this will be like an everyday type of nude on me, but I'm going to go ahead and use my phone is still updating. So I ran in the other room. This is the collagen lip bath from Charlotte Tilbury. It's $35. It has this like interesting wand on it. It's almost kind of like heart shaped but it says it's supposed to be a clear gloss with skincare benefits to give you like fuller looking lips we'll try it out mm, smells good this one is in the shade pillow talk which i didn't really know each one of them said a clear gloss but then there's different shades so i was a little bit confused about that but i don't do the copywriting That looks nice. I feel like it paired pretty well with the lip liner, with that being so dark. Definitely makes the lips look very juicy. The wand is interesting. Uh, just kind of like this. At first I thought maybe it was a heart, but it's got like a dip in the middle. I don't really know what that's supposed to be. It does smell nice. It's a little bit of a thicker gloss, but it was still easy to move around. And it's not sticky at all. Like... There's no stick to it. So lip is a little bit darker than I think maybe I was uh, expecting or going for, but that is okay. And after that, that is going to do it for today's Ulta try on haul. Okay, so to run through everything with the Milani foundation, I like it a little bit more in, even as I've sat here a little bit longer and, you know, have done the rest of my makeup. I do think it looks a little bit more natural. I just really don't see any of that luminous finish with it. So if that's something that you are really banking on, I don't know if you would love it. Uh, I do agree with the light medium buildable coverage. You saw that it was pretty easy to build up on me. So definitely curious to see how it lasts throughout the day and all of that. Again, you can check that pinned comment. The e.l.f. concealer, I'm just most bummed about the shade being so different from the original. I liked more of that satin finish. And even after I put powder on my under eyes, I still felt like I could kind of see that just my under eyes looked a little bit more hydrated than with using the original. That is a little bit more on the mattifying side, but I still like the coverage to it. So I want to test it out a few more times. I don't live near an Ulta anyway, so it's not like I could go today to exchange it. So I'll try to try it. I'll try to test it out a few more times to see if I want to exchange the shade. The Elf 
bronzer and blush i ended up really i, I really do like these i'm a big fan of both of them so that's pretty great the eyeshadow i mean i'm just i'm really enjoying the blush crush palette i can definitely see myself getting a lot more looks out of it and then the soul body highlight not not so sure what I'm thinking, you guys can let me know your thoughts on it, but I'm kind of iffy about that one. The KKW Beauty Lip Liner, just a little bit dark on me, but you know, if I'm ever having those days that I want the dark lip liner, it, it felt creamy. It seemed to apply easily and glide on, so we'll see how long it wears because Charlotte Tilbury is definitely, has very long wearing lip liners and then the collagen lip bath i think looks pretty so again we'll see how it wears and after that i'm just looking over everything i think that is everything that i used again check that pinned comment i'll give an update on how this wears throughout the day i would love to know your thoughts on all of the products that i tried is there any that you've picked up recently or any that maybe you are considering getting please do let me know but if you did like the style of video if you'd like to see more try on hauls please do just let me know and other than that if you guys did enjoy this video i hope that you'll give it a thumbs up I hope that you also consider subscribing before you go, and I will see you in my next video.